Hello and welcome to Mage Master's amazing adventures with the Firing Squad into Vortheim, the city of the damned. A human mercenary captain called Mason Muckshot is the type of guy who loves to lay plans. Ain't that right, Captain? Yeah! He lays warband plans and battle plans and he even has a master plan for each and every individual warband member of the firing squad. He keeps it all in the Captain's book of master plans. Now let's take a look at the Captain's master plan for... The Firing Squad as a human mercenary warband in Mordheim, City of the Damned. A warband has objectives, just like warband members have, and it of course also has a standard warband contract to complete before they can become a qualified warband. That contract requires them to gain 25 warband victories. Then they're qualified to progress with the star objectives, giving them honor and rank as a warband. They can achieve a star by gaining another 25 warband victories, making it a total of 50 warband victories. That would earn them an honor star and give them the rank of a professional warband. They can, of course, also gain a star by gaining the Warband rank 10, the highest ranking in Mordheim City of the Damned. That would provide them with a second star, making them a master class Warband. And then there is a very personal setup of a Warband, consisting of 15 members. Two captains, two ranger heroes, two melee heroes, two runner heroes, two marksmen, and five warriors. This could provide them with the final star making them a legendary warband. But not only that, this very specific setup of warband members is closely connected to the captain's own battle plan and to his formation strategy. The captain's approach formation on the battleground is based on three battle lines and a free roamer. Starting from the back, the Free Roamer is a smuggler, a runner hero that can loot, scavenge, gather wordstone, place black powder traps, and go back and forth between the war party and the wagon, possibly even the enemy's wagon. She has a long movement range, high agility stats and good ballistic skills with her long-ranged hunting rifle, so she will also assist the backliners. Now the backliners are ranger heroes and marksmen. They carry a heavy load of ranged damage but are not suitable for close melee combat. They need to be protected and covered by the frontliners. But they are in reach on a high ground or such to provide buffs and consumables for the frontliners. Now let's move to the first front line. These are the melee heroes and warriors. They are heavy tanks. They can deal a lot of melee combat damage and they are strong and highly skilled in weapons. They are the ones taking on the oncoming foe and engaging in close combat. Now the second frontliners have their primary weapons as ranged. They are equally as weapon skills at the first frontliners, but they have a little better ballistic skills and they can provide damage on ranged and they can step in and assist the first frontliners engagement. They can also switch places with the first frontliners if these get injured or need to step back. The first frontliners stepping back can then switch to their ballistic weapons and provide damage still from the second frontline. And this is the full master plan sheet for the firing squad as a warband. And you can find this sheet and many more in the captain's book of master plans. It provides a good understanding and a deep insight into Mage Master's amazing adventures with the firing squad into Vortheim, the city of the damned. Thanks for now, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, then please leave a note in the commentary below and hit that subscribe button and the notification button if you want to be notified of new releases. So that's it for me, thanks and have a nice day.